What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, you guys, what's up, it's Skitty Boy Randy, hope you're having a great, core blessed, and prosperous day, how you doing, just wanted to give you an update on what's going on on the Skinny Boy Farms, we have more gladiolus coming out, oh, welcome to my channel, if you're new to my channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome, you guys, you guys are the best, thank you so much for being here, I love you guys, I'm off work today, look, we have another bloom, over here on our gladiolas. Yes, you guys. I am off work today. Oh, we have some white ones coming out here. I am off from the hospital today, you guys. And I'm out there enjoying my garden early this morning. And just giving you a little tour while I'm out here. Oh, look at the orange. My goodness. How beautiful. Good morning, you guys. If you're new to my channel, click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just touch the two middle fingers. Okay, okay. I love you guys. You're the best. Thank you so much for being here. Look at that orange. Wow. Beautiful. And then this one, she's just like in full swing. As you can see. Now these are gladiolas from the Dollar Tree. Okay? Okay. Dollar Tree. Gladiolas from the Dollar Tree. And they get kind of heavy, you guys. So what I'm doing is packing the dirt around her just to give her a little more stability. Just kind of packing it around just so she can stand up on her own. Okay? Okay. And down here, these are about to bloom as well. And I will show you those when they come up. You guys are the best. I hope you're being safe. I hope you're trying to be kind to one another. Love on each other. Love on your family. Time is not promised to anyone, you guys. Okay, here are more Dollar Tree flowers. All of these came from the Dollar Tree out of a box, a mixed box. And I showed you these before, but newer varieties have come out. So you don't have to share everything with you. Some of them are dying off and new ones are coming in. Now these are from the Dollar Tree. You guys don't sleep on the Dollar Tree because ain't nobody got no money to be out here and they're spending all this money on no fly. Ain't nobody got no money. So yeah, you guys. So yeah, that's just some of the things going on on the Skinny Boy Farm. Of course, look at the elephant ear now. Look how huge that elephant ear is, you guys. If I can get in here and put my hand to it, you can see it's it's humongous. Yeah. First time trying those bulbs, and they did pretty, pretty good. Oh wow! A flock of birds just flew out of my bush. Scared me half to death. Okay, okay. I ain't know what that was. Good God, man. So our fruit trees are doing their thing. And I told you guys I threw some squash and cucumbers down in there too. I sure did. And look, and they're thriving. Sure did. You know how we do. We do what we want to do, how we want to do, what we want to do it. Okay, okay. I love you guys in the past. Cherry trees are doing good. And we're going to leave them in the bucket to let them establish their root system, you guys. Before just throwing them into this soil at this new home. This is the first year gardening. You guys, well, I've been here one year, so we're still getting it together. Okay, look, you guys. It's not pretty, but you know I don't do pretty gardening. I do productive gardening, okay? Okay, I don't do pretty gardening. Anybody got no money? So here is my homemade shelter over my garden. Ta-da! I worked all night, you guys, in the dark. So it ain't pretty, but it's working. It ain't pretty, but it's working. Okay, okay. Let me get back on it. And I'm going to share with you what I did. I just put some stakes in the ground. All the way around. And you guys, 
I was sitting there wondering because I had bought this plastic piece first and it was like $30, but it only reached like halfway. So something said, okay, what is thin that the sun can come in, but the birds and the, the uh, squirrels and stuff can't get in. And my mom is a seamstress. Shout out to my mom, Mary Battle. She's a seamstress and she used to use lace for different things. And I said, wait a minute. You know, uh, this, this lace or tool or, or whatever they call it, shear. And I said, let me get online and go to the fabric store and order me a big bulk of shear material. And that's what I did, you guys. I went to, I believe it was Joanne's Fabrics. And I ordered me a big uh, roll of shear material. So now the raised bed is covered. Nothing can get in, but I can. And then I can cover it back up. Yes, you guys. See, it's not pretty, but it's productive. Okay, okay. And look, we have progress in the garden. You see that little baby right there? Little tomatoes, y'all. We got little tomatoes going on. We have peppers. We have peppers. Yep. And we have more peppers over here. Yeah, you guys. Things are coming along. And then I planted my corn that I started in the container. I transplanted it into this field. We reclaimed our field, you guys. I had given up, but I said, you know what, Randy? You don't give up. You make it work, okay, okay. So I re-dug it up last night. I was out here like till like, oh God. It was like at least 10 or 11 o'clock. But I got it all dug out and I transplanted all of my uh, uh, corn in here. So you see, you guys, we're gonna have our corn field after all. And it's covered by the sheer material. Nothing fancy, but it works. Okay, okay, cause we ain't got no money. Yeah, there you guys, I'm so proud of it. And I ordered that lime green, you know, green gardening. You know how cheesy I am, you guys gotta be extra. But yeah, you guys, now this part over here just look kind of ragged in there. Come on, Rand, you can do, you're going to do it better than that, y'all. I'm going to fix it up real good for y'all. Like I told you, it was dark. I couldn't see. Shoot. So yeah, that's what's going on over here. Oh, we got a big tomato coming in over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I can record through the shear material. Okay. So... Let's see, we got two babies coming on right here. Yep. They're doing their thing. Look at this lettuce, you guys. Now, you want to grab your lettuce early in the morning. You know? If you want to pick your lettuce, pick it early in the morning when it's real cool and crisp before the real sun comes out. You just go around the edges. See, just like that. Just go around the edges. Don't have to be fancy. No fancy tools. Just go around the edges. Pick you some lettuce. Make a salad today. Okay. Just go around the edges and leave the center. Go around the edges and leave the center. Yeah, you guys. See, these are turning into whole heads of lettuce. And the, you can know we can let them grow or we can pick them. And I want a little bit of salad because I have some good salad dressing in the house. So that's what we're going to do. But yeah, you guys, get you some fabric material and cover your garden. That's what this whole video is about. Protecting your gardening from the little squirrels and the rabbits that love to munch on your veggies. So here we go. You guys are going to be here from day one. This is our cornfield. And I think we have uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, about 50. Yeah. 
50 stalks of corn. So yeah, you guys, things are coming along great. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me just show you the deck. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of male flowers. Strawberries just keep coming. We have a lot of blooms on our peppers. Things are coming. Flowering on our tomatoes, more flowering. Brand new strawberry flowers from a transplanted plant. Yep. So yeah, you guys, things are coming along. The Dollar Tree Flower Rocket still blooming. Yeah. So just wanted to give you a quick update. I love you guys. You're the best. Remember, live, love, laugh. Post stuff, you guys. Be safe.